Hi guys, this is Leslie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and liking this video at the end if you are um, if you like the content. I'm going to be talking to you today about what I'm calling silver linings, and specifically, um, I've, I've been uh, uh, this crazy thing that we're going through. And I have to always say, as a disclaimer at the very beginning of everything, I am not talking about having to deal with the medical portion of this crisis because obviously that is a whole nother situation that is something that I am not equipped to deal with and um, I am just talking about somewhat of the isolation and the sh and the um, reaction to our reaction to being at home and seeing some of the and the shut shut in home shelter in place and some of the positive aspects of that um, I was listening to something this morning as I was doing some work on my computer and it says, and this gentleman said that crisis brings out the best in us as Americans. And I think that is so true. Um, Americans do rise to the occasion. I saw it personally after 9-11 in ways that still gave me chills up and down my spine. That was amazing. Um, however, they do say that I was hearing on the other person, um, that on the Today Show, they were doing something. This weekend is the 75th anniversary of, um, Iwo Jima. And they were saying how people back in, you know, 75 years ago, this weekend is going to be the 75th anniversary. And 75 years ago, Americans were being asked to do super, you know, unnatural things in order to help Americans and being going sent overseas and fighting in wars and just crazy things and putting their life down and they were talking to survivors and veterans of the Iwo Jima um, um, war the clashes those days and and what had happened and the, uh, I think they said 7,000 Americans lost their lives which is just incomprehensible in that one fight and um, they said, and which I think is true, they said, you know, nowadays all we ask of Americans is to stay at home and that there are a lot of people who are not doing that. Um, I do think that it's a different mentality for some people because I know that um, especially young, younger people might be inclined to think, oh, this might not apply to me. I, I think the initial reports were that this was like an old, because it was largely coming out of a nursing home, that this is something that is largely for elderly and older people. Um, and that has obviously been proven not to be the case. Um, I do think that, however, there are so many positive things, and that's what I'm trying to focus on about being at home. For me, I feel particularly lucky because I am with my family, and but there are lots of people who might not be with their family. And I talked about yesterday the positive reaction for me to um, just the positive things for me that now that I'm working at home, there's some financial benefits to it because I'm not paying to commute, I'm not paying city wage tax and things like that. But I also think that there's just a blessing to being forced to take a breath, hunker down, and just be at home. And this year in the Philadelphia area, we did not have any snow emergency days. We did not have any days off from school. We didn't have any <clears throat> days in which, or weekends, Saturday or Sunday, or any days in which my family needed to stay at home. And I'll be honest with you, I do not like the snow, but I do like the fact that there are those days where I just am forced to do nothing. And what I, or when I say nothing, I mean, I don't have the excuse that I have to go out. And that I am at home, I can be with my family, I can clean my house. I can, you know, it's it that alone is really a blessing for a lot of people. I also did hear something about having um, learning how to that being alone. If you are somebody who is alone, that being alone is very different than solitude, and that how and how people have to learn to make a different a differentiate between the two different um, the two different things. You can be alone. In a group of a large group of people but solitude is something that's more in, internal and it hopefully will give you a greater peace this might be a time where you decide to learn how to meditate it may be the time when you learn how to knit for me I have been cooking not I'm not a great cook but I've been making soups I've been making I made a delicious vegetable soup I made a delicious bean soup 
Um, and I've been doing things that are, hi, my son just walked in. Um, I've been doing things that um, hopefully will make, that I can make the, the, the best out of this situation. For me right now, those are the silver linings, the biggest silver linings in this um, in this situation that we find ourselves in. So there's going to be other things, and I am going to be talking about them in other um, in other videos. I do think that for us, especially for those of us who practice try to practice minimalism and things like that, this is the perfect reason. I we feel I feel very comfortable not going out and shopping. I feel very comfortable staying home with my family because frankly those are things that I usually do anyway so anyway I just wanted to share those thoughts with you that um, being alone is not necessarily being lonely if you are with one of those people and that can't, there's a lot of blessings and silver linings to be found in this situation as long as you are not dealing with the medical aspect of it um, which is obviously a, a whole nother component of it and that's a whole very sad thing if you are um, so that, this is Leslie. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you have any, um, comments you like to make, I really would appreciate them if you put them down, uh, down there somewhere. Um, thank you for watching and yes, that's my silver lining for the day. Thanks. Bye-bye.